The SMAN Institute has established unique, innovative technological and clinical platforms to discover new genes and mechanisms that cause diabetes. Ultimately, we want to aid in understanding of the diabetes epidemic worldwide. Since 2006, the SMAN Diabetes Institute has strived to create a platform that applies its knowledge to the translational research by using the basic sciences, applying the knowledge to our clinical trials and to further enhance our scientific finding and the drug discoveries. We are recognized as a leading diabetes institute in Kuwait to address the diabetic epidemics by setting a benchmark for diabetes research in the regions. We aim to create a recognized center for the clinical trials tailored to the Kuwaiti population needs and to use the innovations, behavior interventions to improve healthcare delivery, patient well-being, and the diabetes outcome. What is really unique, we have the translational research that's going from the bench to bedside and back to the bench. We have the integrated service here where we closely related to the, our colleagues at the basic science, that's the genomics, the proteomics and lipodomics. This is really unique center where we have the multidisciplinary team integrated within the clinical service. The population here offers a rich and novel gene pool for us to study and understand. There is MODI, the maturity onset diabetes of the young, and largely caused by specific genetic defect in non set of genes. We're really proud to say we have established a very successful pipeline to genetically detect, counsel, prevent, and treat MODI families in Kuwait. And we do offer this well-established pipeline to our colleagues in the region and worldwide. DDI is really currently a pioneer in one of molecules called angiopoietin 8 or beta-trophin protein. We want to translate these fundamental and novel research findings into clinical practice and community-based health outcomes. We have invested in infrastructures to support our basic research. Plus, we also continue to promote a healthy lifestyle and the importance of diabetes education through our lifestyle, nutrition, and the skill centers in the in Diabetes Institute. From the research projects, I benefited a lot. I've been struggling for many years to control my diabetes, blood pressure, uh, weight, but it was only with medication, so I didn't notice any change. After participating, working with the teams closely, with the doctors and the educational team and the dietitians, we set some goals and they helped me to achieve these goals. Within our research center of the clinical facilities, we have the multidisciplinary team starting from nutrition clinic, physical activity clinics, and uh, pharmacotherapy, uh, diabetes educations, and we have also the full activities and facilities of the radiological centers. So we have the CT, MRI, DEXA, and many of these protocols now are integrated for both research and the clinical services many nutrition projects that's going on in this month. We host the dose adjustment for normal eating, that's the Daphne program, and that is the structured type 1 diabetes education program. Kuwait is the only center out of the Middle East, and this month is the training center for the Middle East. We continue to establish international collaborations to enhance diabetes research, and we have created a knowledge sharing platform for innovations in the fields of diabetes nationally and internationally. We have full CLAMP study now running in this month. The team has been trained by Professor Abdul Ghani from Texas, who is also collaborative with us and part of our clinical research team here uh, to run the sophisticated CLAMP studies, that's hyperglycemic CLAMP, euglycemic CLAMP, to understand more of the beta cells. An example of how we collaborate to address the issue is a collaboration we have with the University of Canberra with regards to establishing a geo-health lab in Kuwait and in the Institute. This enables us to look at the data we have regarding people with diabetes in a geographical sense and to see if we can make inferences and associations 
between certain data and where geographically they are and the actual illness and issue of diabetes, its complications, its management, and how to prevent it. Diabetes touches upon all countries in the world and hence collaborating and joining the expertise of different regions and areas will only help us tackle the issue better. Collaboration is the most important pillar in research. Our doors are open to join international consortia and researchers around the world. Together we are stronger.